So one day, Mr. B sent me over an email and said that he had found some crazy vocal sample on Tracklib. So Juan and I pulled it up, and the second we pressed play, we knew it was going to be something awesome. Five for ten, self for twenty-five. I could never live a normal life. Time and money, I've paid the price. Both rich and poor, I can't sleep. So first, I wanted to show you guys what the original sample was. So it's called Impunta Di Pieti by Andrea Donati. So we kept scrolling, and then we heard this one part right around 36 seconds. We knew we are going to come up with something crazy. Like, there's just so many different vocal lines in this. No matter how we rearranged it, it's going to come out good. So loaded it up into the Ableton push right here and these were the chops we came up with for the A section. So once we had that we came up with one more set of chops for a B section. When we played around with it, we ended up with this simple little loop right here. So as you can hear with both of the chops, they weren't perfectly in time or on the grid yet, but what we did was we resampled the audio and then we kind of fixed the timing issues after that. Alright, so once we resampled those two sets of chops, and as you can see right here, even on this B section, we got some warp markers fixing this. We started to add the rest of the instrumentation. So Juan and I started playing some stuff for Mr. B in the room, and we came up with these drums right here. And then once we had that, we had a couple of little hi-hat kind of counter rhythms that we put on top of it. So once we had that, we went with a clap. We added this percussion loop. This is one of my favorite percussion loops. I use this all the time. A lot of times when I'm trying to build a bounce, we'll start with percussion and just hi-hats. So if the beat's already feeling good, when it's just playing no kick drum, no 808, and the percussion already feels like it's it's moving, then once you add the kick and the 808, it really just brings the whole beat up to another level. So the next thing we did was the 808. So once that was in, we just added a kick on top of that 808. So you add all those drums in for the A section. Alright, so once we had that A section done, we moved into the B section over these chops right here. So right away I knew we wanted to do some live, heavy sounding drums on this, so I chopped up this drum break. And if you hear it soloed, it sounds a little like stretched out in a way that you might not like, but in context of the beat, it actually sounds pretty hard. So 
So once we had that, we wanted some more live drums on top of it, so there was this ride symbol that we added on top. And then on top of that, we also added a crash on every one hit. The last two elements that we put into the B section was this live bass. So for both sections now, the only thing we needed was a couple of transition elements. So we added this riser, this one, this cymbal, and then my favorite sound that I use in almost every beat, the impact. And then you throw a rapper on it, and that's DIY. DIY. That's my favorite song. That's a song everybody can relate to. Do it yourself. That's something that everyone nowadays is trying to do. There's a lot of DIY artists and creators out there. I heard that sample on Tracklib. It was an old European, you know, female vocal, and I'm a sucker for any vocal samples. So I brought that over here to Austin and Wands, and I instantly was hooked. Right? What what they did with the beat, I loved it. I started writing on the spot. The lyrics came out very naturally because I can relate to the topic of do-it-yourself DIY you know we have done screen print embroidery heat press and sent thousands of emails played shows gone from Nashville to Phoenix to LA you know just doing everything we can you know ourselves without the help of a manager or a record label doing that we actually created the beat and wrote the lyrics and recorded it all in one day on the spot it was one of those where we just went to like a black hole for nine hours and came out with the finished song that was awesome, and it's definitely my favorite Mr. B song. The DIY, baby. No one will believe in you more than you. No one should care about your art more than you is the message of it, and that's just a message I do believe in. You know, do it yourself. You can sleep, but money doesn't. Got a logo from my cousin. Twenty dollars turned to twenty thousand. I'm starting to lose track counting. At this rate, I need an accountant. My wings and money have started sprouting. I'm on my way, so stop doubting. My interest stays compounding. Hustler in my DNA. Take an Uber to BNA. Fly to LAX on a one-way. Stopping PHX for like one day. See the fam.